Now let's see a few things that we can do before the profile page creation. And first of all, the first thing is we need to create a pop up here. If you click this profile icon, we should see a pop up and it contains a logout button or an item. If we click this button of logout, we need to run the logout function and log out of the system. So let's create the API for that. In this API, auth API, let me have a function called export const on logout. And in this function, we will call a method call. Okay, just let me have dry catch block first and remove all of these items. So the method name is sign out from fired base. Sign out, sign out. Now we need to use the function here and just pass the auth and that's all. Now we have to call the function here. So let's call it. So import, what is it? On logout from this route and just wrap this function in this button. I mean, add it here like this. Now, if you click logout button, we should be on the home page. I mean, not the home page on the login page. See, we are on this page. Fine. So it works. Now the next change we have to do is in this page called join now. I mean the registered page. So come over to components, register component. And here let's make the login as register. And add the function here as well on the button of the on button only I mean. Now, what we need to do is we need to add one more field here for the name of the user. So let's add it here. And that will be your name here. So the type will be of text and the name, I mean the key will be of name and we will have this here. So let's also store the name in the fired store. Okay. What I am saying. Okay. Not that. I mean, what we need to do is we need to store all the items, I mean the email and the name in the fire store to get the current user after filtering. So I will show you, I mean, I will tell you what I mean. So in Firestore API, let's have this. Okay. What is this? What is this? Let me remove this. I think I was trying. Okay. What happened? Something is wrong. If you say, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Let me go to the top and remove this. Yes, now it will work fine. Now, fine. So now we need to store the data in the fire store. For that, we need one reference called user f. And the collection name is called or probably called as users. So this will contain all our users when we sign up. So what I mean by that? So let me add a function here called export post user data like this. In this, let's create one. Okay, we already have the function here. Fine. So it takes an object and stores the data in the fire store collection. So we are passing the user f here. And the object is already here. So we have to call this function directly post user data. So we don't need this. We need to call it here. So we'll just let me call it like this import post user data. And we need to run the function here in this try block in the register function. So post user data and we will pass credentials dot email one second what is that we are passing okay let's pass the credentials here where here or one second i guess 
okay we can make it as an object as well so we can just say name will be of credentials dot name comma email will be of credentials dot email now save this and whenever this function gets called the data will be passed here and stored inside firestore now let's try this so we need to delete our uh, user from here then try again now let me also delete the database collection which is called uh, posts so just delete collection here now let's try let me enter my name called nishant kumar let me add my email called nishant that's 440 at the rate gmail.com and the password once again click id and join and we are signed in fine and now if you refresh the fire store you will see this thing i mean this current user here so let's see the user is here with email and name fine as you already know we are storing our email in the local storage as well so we need to create a more function to get this data and filter it to get the current name of the user and the email so we can say export const get current user and just say what can we say uh, so we need to use this on snapshot which is here fine let me add it here but instead of this posts ref we need to pass users ref or user ref let me just console this for now here and save now if you check let me call the function here let me call the function in the home component or in the home page so in the home page we have this as here okay let's call this in this page or better in the layout home.jsx so that we can pass it in home in the top bar to have the name as well for the current user so we can say import uh, get current user let me create one memo hook here use memo hook use memo and just add use memo and just call this get current user here now let's say the console what we're getting so we are getting this array of object which is contain which contains email name and id fine so i guess we don't need id so we can remove it we just need these two items fine or let's leave the id and make this as user id so that we can have user id here for this current user Fine. Now we need to filter the current user that we are on currently. For example, let me log out and log in with my other account. I mean log sign out and not sign out. Okay, I am tired. So I mean let me register with my other account. So say Nishan only and this Nishant S550 at the rate one two three at the rate gmail.com password click agree and join so we have one more database i mean user here which is this now if you check the console here we will get two users see in this array of objects this we are having two users let me give it a refresh and try again let me have some water first i am feeling tired hmm. we are having two users but we need to get the current user that we are on currently which is this email nishan s550123 at the gmail.com so to do that we can use our local storage to get the current user from here the current email so 
तो लेट से लेट कर ईमेल इक्वल्स लोकल स्टोरेज डॉट गेट आइटम एंड द की नेम विच इज यूजर ई मेल आई थिंक नाउ वी हैव दिस करेंट ई मेल देन वी कैन फिल्टर दिस हेयर तो जस्ट से डॉट फिल्टर लेट से आइटम एंड वी कैन रिटर्न आइटम डॉट की नेम वट इज we have here we have here email as email so email triple equals to current email now we will get the only one email that we are on currently which is this so to access the first element i mean the only element that we have make it as zero index or zero index and we will have this like this now in the home layout let me create a state here so const let's say current user set current user equals to use state empty object now pass this set current user here get it here and simply store it here like this now we have to pass this current user to the home page or home yes home page now come to the home page where is it here in the pages folder then let's get it here now pass it further to this home component and we will keep passing it so let me get to this component home component get it as props then pass it even further like this find now come to the post status component this is post update yes this one let me just add it here post do we have current user here fine now when we are setting the data or sending the data to fire store we need to also add the user name which will be current user dot name also let's add the post id i mean post id that is the id of the current post that we are posting so we can add some random id so we can use a package called uid in react i think let's try this so let me install the package view terminal add one more and install it now we have to import this at the top or let me create a function a helper function for this as well so let's say get unique id dot jsx we need to create a function here which is called get id or even better we can change it to get unique id and we will export the function in the function we will have id and we will return the id so id will contain the current id from uid from this library then we can simply import the function here in this component and console it to check the current id we are getting here now we need to get the id from here to this post id for the current post so let me remove comment and add get unique id now all of this data will be sent to fire store here so let me open okay we don't have the collection for this for posts but let me try let me create a post call this is nishant now click post and this will be here with a time stamp and if you refresh this page this fire store console you will get the current post that we did now so it will be in posts and we will have this fine so why i did that is because this contains our email fine and if we create a profile page we should be able to filter the posts based on the current user that signed out i mean that signed in signed in yes now we can do one more thing so where are we reading the data so let me check the component close all the components that we don't need fine 
so where is it it is here so where is it i think in the login component in the posts card i guess no not here post update component let's check here yes we have all the okay it's in the post cards itself okay here fine so also let me add the name so if you see we have this name here called abhishek patel i mean for example so before this time stamp let's add the name called p and this will be called posts dot name now save this and let's see the okay we're no getting no name it's username not name so add it here and we should be see we should see the name here called nishant fine let's style it a little bit so class name will be name we don't need this component or this component just come over to the styling file as css file and let me add a name class name here so the things here are same i mean they're all they're all equal but the name is a little bit bolder so we can just copy all our items here and add it let's make the font size 14 pixels and make the font width as 600 now it's bolder but it's sticking to this timestamp like this fine so we can add it so where is it the time let me add or let me have margin or remove margin top as 10. Now we have this Nishant as name and the timestamp. Fine. Now let me log out and create one more account for the other email from the other email called let's say Nishant Kumar will be the name here. Email as this and some password. Click agree and join cannot create your account but why let me open the network tab and check agree and join okay i think email already exists do we have the email here yes okay i guess i have to log in only not sign in so let me sign in with this email okay what is the name of the current okay it's nishant kumar fine so, Sign in, let's do this. Now let's add one more account. I mean, one more post from here called Hello, this is Nishant Kumar. Now click post. The name is still the Nishant, not Kumar. Okay, what is the problem here? So the problem was this. Let me show you what I mean. So basically, we were just adding a variable here and we were storing the local storage email in the variable then we will adding the variable here but now we're doing it directly fine and in the post update we need to store the current user dot email here not the other way around so that was the fix now if you log in let me log in with this email called nishant s440 at the rate gmail dot com so the username of this email is Nishant Kumar. So let me add one update from here called hello. Okay. Which will be hello. This is, this is Nishant Kumar. If you click a post, you will see Nishant Kumar and hello, this is Nishant Kumar. And now if you log in with the other account, which is Nishant, s five five zero one two three at the rate gmail dot com one two three four five six seven now we will add here hello this is nishant and only nishant not kumar click post and we will see hello this is nishant and the username is called nishant so that's how we fixed it using these items